in x lookup function match behavior is controlled by the fifth optional argument match mode by default an exact match is performed match mode argument has following options zero or omitted exact match one exact match or next larger value minus one exact match or next smaller value two partial match or wild card since an exact match is x lookup's default behavior you can omit match mode and supply only the first three required arguments for exact match for example to look up for the department of an employee use this formula x lookup finds the employee id in h4 and returns the department in that position if employee id is not found it returns a pound any error sometimes an exact match won't work this happens when the lookup table does not list all the possible values for example the commission table has commission listed for sales 100k 200k etc to get the commission percentage based on the sales in column a pass f2 to f10 as lookup array and g2 to g10 as return array use this formula to get the commission percentage for the sales in a2 since you did not pass any match mode it does an exact match it looks for 300k and returns the commission from that row exact match works only when the sales value matches the value in the lookup table exactly for example this formula looks for 220k and does not find a match so it returns a pound any error we can use the match mode argument to find the commission based on approximate match to do an approximate lookup set the match mode to 1 or minus 1 when no exact match is found it returns the next larger or smaller value use this formula to get the next larger value when no match is found pass 1 as fifth argument which is match mode it looks for the lookup value 420k in f2 to f10 but cannot find it so it finds the next larger value 500k and returns the corresponding commission 9% set the match mode to minus 1 to return the next smaller value for example this formula searches for the lookup value 420k in f2 to f10 but cannot find it so it finds the next smaller value 400k and returns the corresponding commission 8% if the match mode is set to 1 and the lookup value is greater than the largest value in the lookup array then pound any error is returned for example this formula returns pound any error as the value in a6 950k is greater than the largest value in the range f2 to f10 if if not found argument is passed then instead of pound any error that value is returned For example in this formula 0.25 is passed as if not found argument this formula returns 25% if the match mode is set to minus 1 and the lookup value is less than the smallest value in the lookup array then pound any error is returned for example this formula returns pound any error as the value in a8 75k is less than the smallest value in the range f2 to f10 if if not found argument is passed then instead of pound any error that value is returned for example in this formula zero is passed as if not found argument this formula returns 0% the wild card is a term for special kind of character that can represent one or more unknown characters unlike we look up you must specify in x look up explicitly that you want to do a wild card look up set the match mode argument to 2 x lookup uses wild card characters like asterisk question mark to run a partial match an asterisk represents any sequence of characters to get the price of the item which has red rows use the following formula for lookup value enter the red rows in g3 and concatenate the cell reference with the wild card character asterisk 
This logically means that there can be any characters before and after red rows. Basically, meaning any value that contains red rows. Pass B2 to B10 as lookup array and C2 to C10 as return array. If not found, argument is not passed. XLOOKUP looks for the value in B2 to B10 which contains red rows and finds it in position 5 and returns the value in that position from the return array C2 to C10. For example, you want to search for vector, but you are not sure if it's return VICTOR with a C or VIKTOR with a K. You can use the wildcard character question mark, which represents any single character. To get the item purchased by vector, use this formula. Enter VI question mark TOR in G6 as lookup value. The question mark in third position is the wildcard. Pass A2 to A10 as lookup array and B2 to B10 as return array. Pass match mode as 2. XLOOKUP looks for a value which has 6 characters where first 2 characters are VI, last 3 characters are TOR and third character can be anything. It finds it in position 5 and returns the item in that position from the array B2 to B10. If you don't pass 2 as match mode, it is treated as an exact match. XLOOKUP looks exactly for value in G6, including the question mark, and pound NA error is returned. To download practice Excel file, please click on the link in the description. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.